Chairman Stewart banned Meghan from association polo fields as she asks to insert herself into Harry's scene. Meghan Markle's the queen of interference. She loves getting in the middle of political debates that don't concern her, as she carries the foreign title of one of America's biggest allies. And she loves making other people's issues all about her. Look at the drama surrounding Catherine, the Princess of Wales's Photoshop fail. The former actress just had to put out a statement saying that she'd be criticised if she made the same mistake when editing pictures. Oh wait, she has made the same mistake. Yet the media have never called them out on their fails. Here's just one example. Recently, Meghan has continued inserting herself into Harry's polo event, where she tried to be the centre of photos on stage and grabbing the cup from Chair of Centrebell to act as if she's the most important and the patron of the event. Meghan's a disgrace to the polo event. She makes the whole event about her and she has no compassion whatsoever for the competitors. Since Meghan started playing a role in the polo match as Harry's devoted wife, she's become an annoyance. Why? Well, she's taken over the event. She does more performances at the event than her husband in ill-fitting clothing to cosplay Princess Diana. She went up on stage to present the trophy when she should have just been an obedient wife standing under the stage cheering for her husband, like Nacho's wife. However, she stole all the attention and asked the event organiser to stay away from centre stage and she had the opportunity to insert herself into the photos. So much so that Harry didn't get any alone time with his polo friends. As a result, now US Polo Association kicked Meghan out of polo fields. Prince Harry makes another cameo in the posh world of polo as he huddles with players on the sidelines of a US Open quarterfinal. The Prince joined the Valiant team behind the scenes as they prepared to take on Coca-Cola at the National Polo Centre. He cut a low-key figure in black jeans and a grey t-shirt, but his arrival was given away by a dozen strong Netflix film crew who were on hand to shoot his interactions with the awestruck players. The Prince was flanked by two guards in plain clothes but looked relaxed and engrossed by the pre-game team. The Prince was flanked by two guards in plain clothes but looked relaxed and engrossed by the pre-game team talk before the two sides took to the field. Harry was joined on the sidelines by Nacho, the pair looking on with interest as the crew sent up a drone to get aerial footage of the game. A source said that the US Polo Association only allowed Harry and Nacho backstage access to the match even though Meghan Markle wanted to go with Harry because she needed to direct production. Association President Stuart Armstrong said uninvolved people would not be allowed to intervene. He agreed to allow Netflix to film to promote the association, which meant no one would steal the spotlight from the players. It will be another fail for Harry and Meghan and will only serve to solidify that Netflix streamers have way too many options to tune into this elite sport, even with Harry and Meghan's forks celebrity shenanigans. They're a global punchline. US Polo Association should run before they become the Invictus Games. Also amazing how at ease Harry looks when he's all alone. When the wife's in tow, he looks like someone waved a turd under his nose all day. He instinctively knows what's expected in public, but Meghan is very much an unpredictable wildcard. She has main character syndrome, which this must annoy him at these events.